Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial about uh, dominoes. Uh, it will be divided into parts. In the first part I will be creating uh, material that will allow us to just duplicating the domino we will get different values for each domino we duplicate. In the second part we will be looking a way to place uh, all the dominoes in a visible way and apply physics to all of them in a way we will we'll be creating the, the animation we saw in the in the beginning of this video uh, before start I want to apologize for my English it's far from pre perfect I hope, I hope is good enough. So I have a, a, a basic scene, a domino with a plane, nothing special, and and the, the text I create. I'll be in the description of this video. I I will be putting a, a link so you can download this scene and the text. So to start, we'll be uh, mark some seams to separate the, the front part of the domino and uh, the, the back part of it. So we select the edge around the front face. We will also select the corner edges. So when we are wrap the, the back, back part of the domino, we won't get any uh, distortion, so Ctrl E, mark scene. Now we change to select mode, uh, face select mode with Ctrl Tab. With the the mouse cursor on any of the back faces, we press the L key and press U uh, and a wrap. And next, we will be scaling this way down, so the back part we don't want to see the, the, the values of the domino, so we will be placing this where it won't be affected by any part of the texture, so we change position to 0, 0, and let's scale a little down. Okay, now we invert the selection with Ctrl I and again U and uh, no, we change the view to the front view with the num numpad uh, 1 now U and project from view bounds Okay, we have the UV map Right, the, of the front faces of the domino. Now we want to scale down so the UV, UV map only uh, the width of the UV map will be the width of the one domino. To do that we know that the coordinates of the UV map are from 0 to 1 so dividing 1 with 7 which is the number of the dominoes we have 0 to 6 we will get the the correct width so to do that we press s s to scale uh, no uh, before that we want to scale to the to the cursor uh, cursor position to do that we change here to to the cursor or we can press the dot key now we scale with S, X, and then we press the division the slash in the numpad and the number 7. And now we divided 1 by 7 and we have the width of the V map same as the width of each domino. Now we have the UV map created. 
now we start making the material itself to do that we add the texture texture image texture we choose the domino texture which is this one connected color and now if we render this we will see the first domino here it will take a while okay here we are now we we want to change the, the colors of the domino a little so we add a converter color ramp we change the the first color which is the black to the middle of it because our texture has a small gradient in the, in the part of the values of the dominoes because we will be using this texture to the bump map also and this gradient will give us a little better bump so we change now black to uh, gray we change the the white to a little less bright color you can choose the color you, you want to the dominoes now if you wait a little till here we are now we will go we will add the bump map to do that we'll create another color ramp because we want to neutralize the the white part because the the white in the bump map it will uh, add bump to the text we don't want that we want to neutralize the, the white to do that to do that we just change this white color to a middle gray 0.5 here we, this gray won't add or, or remove any bump now we add a vector bump we connect color to the height change the distance to 0 0.05 for example move this meter and connect the normal to the normal of diffuse now if we when you update we will see uh, here we are a little light reflection here okay now we have the the basic material done now we want to uh, in the material itself to change the the values of the domino because what we want to do is instead of changing the vmap manually we want the material to do that for us so we'll be creating a few nodes the first one will that we will add a vmap we'll choose the vmap we created next we we'll add a combine a converter separate x y z connect the UV map to the vector we add a math node read add we connect the x to the first one now we have the combine x y z to x value the y to the y the z to z and we connect the combine x y z to or image text so this this math node will add to the x coordinate of our UV map if we render we will see that the text has moved mass but in the wrong pos position now we have near here the UV map to change to to two for example we had to put here one slash seven 
multiply by 2 and that that will allow us to go to move the UV map to here here we go but we want to to make this a little simple so we add another math node and multiply we connect this multiply to here and we change we change where we are here we change the second to one slash seven which is the the same calculation we did here this is the size the width of which one uh, domino now if if we change here to three for example we will see that we will get this the third domino here we are now if we we instead of using three we put three to two three dot two we will get this dv map will be slightly off and to to change that we add another math node around we connect this here and if we put here 3.2 we'll get the correct position yes here we are now we have created uh, the first part of the nodes we want to create a group of this node we control G uh, we will have uh, the input uh, UV the output will be, will be another UV we want also this value as an input to this group we change this to domino um, value for example default we can change to zero the minimum zero maximum six <coughs> so we have the group creator we change this to texture position for example and now we have a group that only changing this value you'll get a different domino here we are now we want to use this text to to the the top part of the domino to do that we we only need to rotate the, the UV map to do that we will be let's, let's deactivate the render here we'll duplicate these two nodes the texture and the group we created because we want to to, jo to mix these two textures let's move this a little back we had a we add a color mix RGB connect the first texture to the first part we connect these two here we change mix to multiply and factor to one we won't see any changes here because the two textures are one above the, the other but adding here a vector mapping we connect UV, UV here the mapping to the UV of the first group we create we change the Z to 180 and this will rotate 100 and 80 degrees here we are now we can see that the, the value is wrong we have a 4 and the, we are getting a 3 
that's because when we rotate it will rotate to the zero zero well, basically it's, it's doing this and if we look the the UV will be one width of the domino back so to to fix that we just need to change the x value to one slash seven and if we render we will get the correct value in the top part of the domino here we are for four we change this to two and we will get two four Here we are. Now, what we want is to do next is when we duplicate this domino, we will get different values in each one. And right now, we to do that we will need to or create another another material or changing manually the UV map. But what we want is to use the input uh, object info this random value that cycles give us this value is different for each object we have in scene we will use that random to uh, to give us different values for each domino the problem we have is that this value is only from 0 to 1 and is only one for each object. We need two different values for the bottom part and top part. And to do that, we'll go into use the decimal part of this random value. And to do that, we'll be creating some math nodes. I'll be adding that nodes first, and then I'll try to explain what what each node will be doing. So first we'll add a subtract node, math node. We change the second value to one. Let's see. Okay. Then the, this this one in the top will be the the position of the decimal part of the the value we want to use. <coughs> I will try to explain that better in a while. Next we add a uh, power, where it is power, we connect subtract to the bottom part and here we put 10. Now we have a multiply, okay, mass multiply, connect this one to the bottom part and this will be the random value in the top part. Now we want to add a modulus, a converted mass, a modulus, where it is, modulo, and connect this one to the top part, and here we change to one. And to finish these nodes, we had another math nodes, multiply, connect to the first value and second we put a six which is the maximum value of the dominoes now let's try to explain this i be adding in a to try to explain this better this will be simulating the, the random value which will be from z to one 0 to 1, so I'll be adding 0 0.2738, for example. Uh, now, let's try explain this. These three first math nodes, what you want to do is, because we only have one random value, what we will be using these decimal parts of the the float value so to do that we want to to move the decimal part so we can get the the, the val correct value we need to do that we just need to multiply these to 10 with 100 or 1000 and so on 
and that's what this power is doing uh, but because we want uh, this power basically is is 10 power of 2 of 1 of 3 or whichever key we want so we can if if we, we have one here uh, the the decimal part if you want the first one 10 at power of 1 will be 10 it, it will multiply this number with 10 which will give us 2.74 but we want to give it a little more intuitive and instead of using uh, 1 uh, because we want if you want the the first decimal part you we don't want to to change this value so we need to subtract one to to give us zero because zero ten at power of zero will be one multiplying this with one does, doesn't change so if we for example we want to choose the the first uh, decimal part we choose it first we connect this here the 1 will be subtracted by 1 which will be 0 and 10 elevated to 0 will be uh, 1 and multiplying this value with 1 doesn't do that nothing but if we choose the second which will be 7 second decimal part uh, it will be subtracted by 1 which will give us 1 10 that power of 1 will be 10 and uh, multiplying this value will give us 2.74 right if we choose to 3 for example 3 min minus 1 will be 2 10 uh, the power of 2 will be 100 multiplying uh, by this value will give us 27.4 so uh, that's what we want each time we choose which decimal part it will move this value and this modulo is because we on, only want the decimal for example if we choose the 3 here it will be 27.4 right and the modulus what we have is this number divided by one it will give us the modulo of uh, this division which will give us 0 0.54 right which will be the value that will be multiplied next with six and what we exactly what we want because this value will be always inferior to one multiplied by six will be we will get always uh, a number uh, below six and that's what exactly what you want because we have only six values in the dominoes and we when we connect this to here for example and connect again the random here we will get different values in the bottom part of the domino let's wait a little and here we have a 5 here and a 4 here every time we duplicate a domino it will change automatically based on this random value ok now we have we need 2 times 2 times these nodes to the top part of the domino so we will be creating another group we select this one ctrl g let's see i believe these are inverted yes this one is at top yes this will be our random value default we can change this to zero the second one will be the, the decimal. Yes, decimal position, for example. We change this to one. The minimum will be one 
and maximum can use 20 I don't know exactly how many decimal parts has the random value of blender and we can also add this one as an input value because if you want to use this this, no, this group to another project you can change the maximum value to anything different than 6 the, let's change this maximum value uh, the minimum we can add 0 and maximum 100 for example now here we can change this to Domino value and we have the group created. Now we can delete these ones, remove this, Let's move here, this, here. We duplicate. Let's change this to no value, for example duplicate this this group connect this one here now you want the random at first the decimal part we changed here to one and here we can change to three so we get different values the top and the bottom part of the domino so if you render here you'll get different completely different values of each domino here we have five five zero four let's duplicate a little a couple my more dominoes so we can see the difference so we have four dominoes we'll get different values for each one Render this, and here we have uh, one five six one five five and zero uh, four. And this is what we need to to start the second part of the tutorial because right uh, now we can duplicate as many dominoes as we, we want as we need to create the animation. The, the animation we saw in, this, in the beginning of the video so we have this first part finished I hope you could understand everything I tried to explain this last part is uh, the last uh, group is the uh, most, most uh, complicated one to explain I hope you, you could understand that part if not my apologies if you need any help just leave a comment in the description and i hope to see you all in second part second part of this tutorial and until then be well bye